people hiding here? Okay. Fine. So today I'm going to be doing a similar video that I've done a few months ago. A few months ago I have done a video like this, trying digital art. Basically what I did in that video is I took an app to draw digital art. And then I use that app to draw a simpler drawing. I'm doing that in this video. But I'm not going to do that simple drawings. I'm going to improve my digital art skills. I do a little bit more hard and realistic and also more detailed art. So let's get into the digital arts. Oh my god, it's raining. A few moments later. So I'm gonna start drawing a triangular eye now. If you watch Pokemon, you could recognize what I'm actually drawing here. Um, I am drawing the Mega Blastoise, which I think is the last evolution of Squirtle. Squirtle evolves into Water Tool. Water Tool evolves into Blastoise and Blastoise lastly evolves into the Mega Blastoise which is what I'm drawing. I'm kind of drawing a section at a time. So right now I'm working on the face and then adding the details. I'm kind of since I'm not really good at digital art, I have to use a reference to draw this. And I kind of stopped <laughs> watching Pokemon right now. So I am not sure how a Mega Blastoise looks like this. And I haven't seen Mega Blastoise in Pokemon at all, I even once. So I'm using a reference at, at the picture that I'm showing right now like behind the drawing. I'm using that to draw the drawing in the app called Autodesk Sketchbook. I'll put the link in the description if you want to download it. I think Mega Blasters has the most amount of details and the hardest thing to draw in the Squirtle evolutions. I could have uh, picked another Pokemon which has simpler details and easier to draw. But I did that uh, in the last uh, episode of Trying Digital Art where I drawn super simple drawings. If you want to watch that video, I will also put the link in the description box below. So in this video, I want to do, do a little more harder details and harder things to draw. So that is why I have chose Mega Blast Toys. And the other reason also is Squirtle is one of my favorite Pokemons. Just because it's not blue, uh, it is also water type. So I really like water type Pokemons and water type creatures. So that is why I chose the last evolution of Mega Blast. I mean Squirtle. I could have chose Squirtle if I like Squirtle. But Squirtle is so simple and easy to draw and has no details at all. Also water too. Blastoise is a little bit hard but not really like the Mega Blast toys and the Mega Blast toys is the hardest thing to draw I think in the Squirtle Evolutions. Now I'm working on the color right now. Uh, first I'm going to draw, I mean paint or drain or something like that. A dark red for the mouse and then I'm going to choose light silver to color in the silver areas of the Mega Blast toys. I'm not going to just kind of color it and leave it. I'm also going to add the shading for them like the picture that I'm showing behind the drawing. So for the silver I'm choosing a little bit more darker silver to shade and then continue that pattern with the rest of the colors and the body.
And there you go, that is done. You know what, I really really like this though. I wasn't even thinking that it would turn out this good. In my opinion, I really like this. I really like how it turned out. So now on to the next drawing. I'm going to switch the Mega Blastoise to a beautiful rose. Actually, I was going to do another Pokemon. But I was like, you know what, we have already done a Pokemon. If I do another Pokemon, it would be pretty basic. Uh, so let's do something more challenging and more realistic looking to draw so that is why I chose this rose uh, in the Google when I was actually searching a rose I was looking for a realistic kind of rose um, for some reason this was super hard to draw at the same time this was super easy to shade as well if this was a normal drawing I couldn't have actually drawn it that uh, amazingly at the end since this was digital drawing you know uh, since the drawing itself is very cartoony this was easy to shade but really hard to draw this rose is one of my hardest drawings ever that I have drawn in this I guess one corner channel um, this rose has like so much back black details and the outline that outline itself is very thick in the picture i could have actually drawn the outline a little bit thicker but some re for some reason i couldn't figure it out um uh, when i actually figured it out i was actually drawn the outline thinly and i had to go over it uh with a thicker outline pen so that was super <laughs> annoying and now i'm just filling the black details of the rose i could have stepped this step step this step but i really wanted to look this drawing exactly like the picture it didn't turn out exactly like the picture but i was really happy at the end of the rose results so that is why i chose to do the step and this took over like one and a half hour not too long compared to my other creations that i have done more than one and a half hour and two more than two hours I haven't done any arts for that long. I have done crafts like the wall hanging that I have done, the pom pom thing that was over four hours or three hours, something like that ridiculously. So now you can see that I'm going over the outline a little bit with a thicker outline pen. As I said before, I could have done the thicker outline before I outlined with a thinner plane, but <laughs> I couldn't figure that out. So I'm going over this with a light orange red color i could have done a normal red but i think this is pretty good for the rose uh for this i'm taking the picture out because this is just painting red so we don't need the picture for this now i'm going to use a darker red to add the shadings and i'm going to use a light pink color to add the highlights of the rose Oh my god, how cute and adorable and realistic this rose is, guys. I love how it turned out. Also, I made a rose with leaf as well. What do you guys think? With leaves or without leaf? I actually prefer with leaf. It's not like uh, without leaf is ugly. I love both. But I really like with leaf more than the with without leaf. Whatever, I love how they turned out. And that is pretty much it for this video guys. I really, really enjoy making these arts. And let me know in the comment section what do you guys think of these arts. And I really love how these two guys have turned out. And I hope you guys like them too. And thank you so much guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.